Hey tech fans, today's video is brought to you by the Corsair K63 Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. Get your game on with Corsair. Hey tech fans, what is up? Good news, you guys all know it probably as well, but AMD has announced that they will be releasing their brand new Ryzen 3 CPUs on July 27th. So that's just right around the corner, baby. And they've got two models that are coming to market right now the 1200 and the 1300X. Now, both of these CPUs feature four cores and four threads. They also feature eight megabytes of level three cache. They support DDR4-2666, and they also have 65 watts of TDP. So on paper, these things sound absolutely amazing. At least I think so. Now, the base clock speed, on the you know entry level 1200, it's at 3.1 gigahertz for your base clock and 3.4 for the overclocking or the boost. And on the 1300X, it's 3.5 on the base and 3.7 on the boost. This is pretty cool. And the fact that they have 65 watts of TDP is a really good thing because if you wanna do any type of mining and stuff like that, you wanna have a low powered CPU to do that and it's gonna be absolute great for those people that are doing it. Now, right now, Intel really, I don't think, has a CPU with any of their new Cabby Lake stuff that's gonna be able to compete at price performance ways to these things. They're just way more expensive. And one thing that's really nifty, one thing that's really interesting, is that inside of an i3 is only a two core CPU. So both of these CPUs right off the bat have more core power underneath their hood. But here's the caveat about these new Ryzen 3 CPUs. There's no SMT. So SMT has been completely disabled. And what I'm wondering is though, you know, the Ryzen 5 and the, and the Ryzen 7, they all relied on that SMT to make all those cores, you know, work together nicely and make things faster. Now you pull that out of the equation. How do you guys think that's really going to do? Is it really going to matter? Is it going to perform about the same as an i3 since you really, you know, don't have that SMT going on there or will it actually be faster? These are the questions in my head and probably your head as well. Now, no prices have been leaked whatsoever so nobody actually knows how much these you know particular cpus are going to be but that's a question in all of our head now real quick before we get into more stuff about the ryzen 3 let's check out a word from our sponsor corsair the Corsair K63 is made for the gamer who needs a minimalistic keyboard that has a lot of features on it but doesn't take up a lot of desk space. The K63 features per-key red LED backlighting and large font keycaps so you can see everything perfectly clearly even in a dark room. The keys are also fully programmable and you can do this using Corsair's Q software. It also features dedicated volume and multimedia controls to totally control your gaming environment. The K63 features a very small footprint due to its compact 10 keyless design. And best of all, in my opinion, the K63 features Cherry MX Red switches. These are fast, accurate, and they feature a really great linear response time. All right, I hope you guys like that keyboard. It's a really cool product. Check it out if you can. Now, let's talk about testing, simulated testing, where there's already a you know, website out there called TechSpot, and they've like released some stuff that's kind of trippy. They basically taken a 1400, disabled the SMT, clocked it down to what the AMD Ryzen 3 will be, and then released those scores. Now, these scores, although you know you should take them with a grain of salt, they're actually kind of interesting for doing this. Now, I don't think the numbers are gonna to be totally accurate. I, there's just no way that I think they're gonna be perfectly accurate because this is like a simulated thing, kind of a guess, but it's still interesting to check them out. So real quick, check this out. They show that pretty much the Ryzen 3 blows away anything that Intel has out right now, especially at anywhere near the same price point. Now, how this is actually going to translate into real world testing and stuff will be really, really interesting. But just for now, it seems like on paper, hey, the AMD Ryzen 3s are kicking some serious, serious ass. And I mean, let's just face it. If they can come to market with like an $80 CPU, I'm talking about for the 1200 and $120 for the 1300X, that's going to be very interesting. Now, one thing you guys should note as well, the Ryzen i5 1400 is very, very similar to the 1300X. So I don't know if people are really gonna to wanna to buy the 1300X. You know, they'll probably wanna buy the 1200 because the, uh, the, excuse me, the 1400, it has four cores, eight threads. 
And the 1300X, it has four cores, four threads, and obviously SMT has been disabled. So I'm not really sure if people will really want to buy that CPU because the price difference is most likely not gonna be that different. And you're gonna to wanna to have that SMT and you're gonna to want to have those eight threads if you wanna get the absolute best performance in gaming. But right now, we're talking about the budget market. And for years, Intel has just dominated all over the place as far as performance goes. We know this dance, it's been going on for years. AMD, the budget guys, Intel, the faster guys, that's just how it's been. But can AMD now, with these brand new Ryzen 3 CPUs, dominate that market and kick Intel right off their spot? I mean, lately there's been a lot of weird shit going on with Intel, and it's just it's just really, really strange. I know they've been doing wild, crazy rants and just weird stuff. And uh, that's just, I don't know, it's insane. I don't know what the heck's going on over there. If they don't really change the way that they're doing things, even though AMD still is the underdog right now, if Intel keeps making mistakes like this, within the next few years, AMD will obviously be able to take over a lot of these different slots. I mean, hopefully Intel will get their shit together just for, you know, the people out there who buy CPUs because competition's always good. We know this, you know? The more these companies compete, the better the CPUs get and the better our price point is. And at the end of the day, that's what we're all looking for. So. July 27th coming up. I'm gonna buy my CPU and board and bring those tests to you so we can see together how well these brand new AMD 3 CPUs do in the real world. I'm Elric, you've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Once again, a special shout out to Corsair for helping bring today's video to the table. Peace.